go and the invasion of Las Vegas is complete. 8,000 out of 30,000 traveling fans have been admitted in to watch the traditional weigh-in. Many of them are queued up for up to eight hours and they were desperate to let Mayweather know that he wasn't up against one boxer, but a whole nation. Where are you coming from? Harlow, Essex. What round's he going down in? Uh, he's going down in the eighth with a body punch. Mayweather did have a few fans, but they simply didn't get the chance to get themselves heard. Can you tell us where the shirts come from? Yeah, sure. I've just spoken to Mike Summerby, as you know, uh, one of the Man City legends from when they used to be a good team. I don't, you might want to edit that. Uh, and he just gets it, passed me that and said it's come from Sven. Just want all the boys want to wish Ricky all the best. Fantastic. And do you tell me what the atmosphere's like behind the, behind the curtain here? Oh, it's just going crazy now. Uh, yeah, Ricky's you know, he's, bu he's buzzing for this fight. Uh, Definitely going to knock him out. It's like this now. You can imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. I've never, I've never witnessed anything like this. Fox is about to take the stage. The atmosphere reached such a fever pitch, even seasoned commentator and ex-boxer Jim Watt was taken by surprise. Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen anything like it. I mean, 20,000 people, more than 20,000 people who know they're not going to get a ticket. They just want to be in the same city when Ricky Hatton beats Lloyd Mayweather. Everybody's talking about it in Las Vegas. Everybody's talking about it back in England. It's a massive fight. How do you see it going? Well, when the match was made, I fancied Mayweather pretty strongly. I don't think Ricky's shown his best form in his last three or four fights. But since I've got to Las Vegas and I've seen the shape that Ricky's in, I see the attitude when, when, when Ricky tells you he's going to beat him, you look in his eyes and you know he believes it. And I feel that if Joe Cortez allows Ricky to box his own box, Ricky's going to have to manhandle Mayweather, push him all over the place and impose himself. And if Joe Cortez shows a little bit of leniency and lets Ricky fight his own fight, I think Ricky's going to do too much work, outwork him and win in points. What about the story with Mayweather in his hands? Is that a bluff? No, he has always had bad hands. He's had a couple of bad performances early in his career. He does have bad hands, but they're using the big gloves and I don't think it'll be an issue. Prediction? Hatton and points, I say, if Joe Cardez does not get too involved, if he keeps breaking the action, telling Ricky to clean things up, then I think Mayweather will win. But if Ricky gets to fight his own fight, fancy Ricky. The noise emitting from the MGM Grand was so great that even Elvis himself re-entered the building. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before I bring up a gentleman who's going to tell you about the wagering situation here in Las Vegas this weekend for our main event tomorrow, I understand that we got a call from President Bush because the State Department, the State Department is very worried because the last time this many British invaded America, it was 1812 and you burned down the goddamn White House. It's been reported that in the history of British sports, the money that is being wagered on Ricky Hatton is the greatest in British sports history. At this time, we'd like to bring up some future Hall of Famers that are in attendance. They are part of the Golden Boy promotional team. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a Three-time world champion, Sugar Shane Bosley. The reigning light heavyweight champion of the world, two-time champion, Bernard, the executioner. Wales, the honor. 
undefeated, undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, Joe Calzaghe. With a potential fight looming in 2008 between Bernard the Executioner Hopkins and Joe Calzaghe, the pair both attempted to gain the first advantage in a series of likely psychological battles. The spat between Hopkins and Calzaghe, however, was just an entree. The main course was about to be served. Here at the MGM Grand, Golden Boy Promotions and Mayweather Promotions, along with the sponsors of Tecate, Cerveza with an Attitude, Rockstar Energy Drink, Party Like a Rockstar, and Southwest Airlines, Southwest, the symbol of freedom, are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing sanctioned by the WBC and recognized by Ring Magazine for the Welterweight Championship of the World. At this time here at the MGM Grand Garden, the site of the big fight tomorrow night, we shall now have the official weigh-in. First up on to the scales, ladies and gentlemen, his professional record stands at 43 bouts. 43 victories, including 31 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, a three-time world champion, the fighting pride of Manchester, England. Take away. 
stepping onto the scales, the reigning, the threatening, undefeated, welterweight, champion of the world, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Officially 147 pounds, 147 Mayweather, 145 Havens. Manchester, England, Mr. Ricky Hammond. You know what? What can I say? What can I, what can I say for a turnout like that? Absolutely fantastic. I just want you to answer me two questions. Who have you come to see? Yeah. Floyd? No. Me? Yeah. Who's checking the bells? Yeah. Let's fucking have him. Yeah. With just 24 hours to go before the fight, surely Hatton had gone 1-0 up. And surely he was about to achieve his dream of becoming the world's best pound-for-pound -pound fighter.